The countdown to the superhero showdown is on. With just days until the release of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, the stars of the DC blockbuster are giving the Marvel Universe a run for its money. Ben, Henry, Amy, Gal, Jesse. The stars of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice hit the black carpet at one of the most anticipated premieres of 2016. Affleck and Cavill put aside their on-screen rivalry to show bromance while posing together on the carpet. The superhero showdown will bring DC Comics favorites Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman together on the big screen for the first time. She with you. I love Cheers with you. And it looks like Hollywood's A-listers are anticipating the flick just as eagerly as the rest of us, with Will Smith, John Corbett, and even our favorite supermodel Coco Rocha among the celebs who showed up for the premiere. The star-studded gala comes just one night after the stars hit the red carpet for the film's world premiere in Mexico City. The thing which I enjoyed the most about this and playing this character in this movie was that we're now seeing the evolution of Superman. He's not quite yet the guy who we know and love from the comic books, but you can see the beginnings of it. Being Wonder Woman is like I'm dancing samba from within. I love everything about her. Of course, the biggest question on everyone's mind, will Ben Affleck deliver as the caped crusader? I had been playing in different genres of movies, like uh, Argo or the the town or Gone Girl, and this represented a challenge and a change for me and something exciting. Yes, we'll all find out if it's a good change for Affleck when Dawn of Justice hits theaters Friday. Oh, and by the way, remember that massive back tattoo Affleck was recently spotted sporting? The colorful phoenix that had both of his exes, Jen and Jennifer, laughing? Yeah, well, the actor says it's fake for a movie. Really Dearly beloved, Prince is writing a memoir. It's tentatively titled The Beautiful Ones and is set to hit bookshelves fall 2017. The 57-year-old will not use a ghostwriter and says the memoir will start from his first memory and go all the way to the Super Bowl, which he played in 2007. You guys don't have to come with me. I know we can make it. Maze Runner star Dylan O'Brien is going to be, quote, just fine, says his director, after O'Brien was injured so severely on set that production has been shut down while he recovers. The 24-year-old was hurt late last week while performing a vehicular stunt in the third installment of the post-apocalyptic franchise, which is being filmed in British Columbia. TMZ reports he was hit by a car and suffered multiple broken bones. Now, BC's Workplace Safety Agency is investigating the accident. They'll be making sure the producers were providing a safe workplace. Director West Chris Ball tweeted out an update on O'Brien's condition over the weekend, saying the actor is one tough cookie, and he will be back up and running in a few weeks. He's currently recovering in a hospital in Vancouver. We wish him a speedy recovery. Remember, to, remember excuse me, to get your entertainment news first here in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.